For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Michigan seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill S-325. The clerk will report the title of the bill. Senate 325, an act to amend the Alice, Spotted Bear, and Walter Sobolev Commission on Native Children Act to extend the deadline for a report by the Alice, Spotted Bear, and Walter Sobolev Commission on Native Children and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from Michigan, Mrs. Dingle, and the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Michigan. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend the remarks and include extraneous material on the measure under consideration. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. S-325, introduced by Senator Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, provides a two-year extension for the Alice Spotted Bear and Walter Sabalef Commission on Native Children to publish its report and make policy recommendations for federal, state, and tribal programs that serve Native children. Native children experience severe health and socioeconomic disparities compared to all other racial and ethnic groups in the United States due to the cycles of intergenerational trauma. It is the federal government's trust responsibility to provide for the health and well-being of Native children. However, the COVID-19 pandemic delayed much of the Commission's essential work. Passage of S-325 will grant the Commission an extension of time and ensure that the report best addresses the need of Native children through the much-needed expertise and cultural wisdom. I want to thank the distinguished senator from Alaska, Senator Murkowski, for introducing and championing this critically important legislation, as well as my dear friend uh, and natural resources colleague, Don Young, for leading the House Companion Bill. I urge my colleagues to support S-325. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Michigan reserves, the gentleman from Arkansas. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of S-325, which would amend the Alice Spotted Bear and Walter Sobolev Commission on Native Children Act to extend the deadline of the Commission's report from three years to five years after the Commission is fully appointed and fully funded. In 2016, the Alice Spotted Bear and Walter Sobolev Commission on Native Children Act was signed into law. The purpose of the legislation was to establish within the U.S. Department of Justice's official or Office of Tribal Justice a commission on Native children and to conduct a comprehensive study regarding the federal and local programs, grants, and support available for Native communities and Native children. The legislation stipulated that three years after the date on which the commission is fully appointed and funded, the commission shall issue a report to Congress with its recommendations on how to achieve better use of existing resources, increased coordination, measurable outcomes, stronger data, enhanced private sector partnerships, and implementation of best practices. Funding for the commission was not authorized in the enacted version. However, the fiscal year 2019 Consolidated Appropriations Act provided $400,000 to the commission. With delays in securing funding and the full appointment of commission members, the commission was not able to hold its first meeting until December 2019. In addition, the COVID-19 pandemic delayed much of the commission's work. In response to these challenges faced by the commission, my good friend, Mr. Young, introduced the House Companion Bill to S-325 to ensure that the commission has adequate time to produce a complete and comprehensive report. I would like to commend Mr. Young for his continued tireless work on behalf of American Indian and Alaska Natives. I urge adoption of the measure and reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves, the gentlewoman from Michigan. I reserve. The gentlewoman reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield as much time as he may consume uh, to the gentleman from Alaska, the Dean of the House, Mr. Young. I thank the gentleman for yielding. The gentleman is recognized. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank the gentleman for yielding. And I'd like to thank uh, Chairman Gohalva and, of course, the ranking member, Mr. Westerman, for the support of scheduling this bill for final passage. I'd also like to thank my good friend, Debbie Dingle, for her work. And I've been sitting listening to these bills. These are good bills, so thank you. I appreciate it. I introduce this bill on the House side. I'd like to thank Congressman Case and Congressman Cawley for their sponsorship and support. It has been mentioned S325 gives the Elise Spotted Bear and Walter Soboloff Commission on Native Children two more years to complete their important work and report their findings to Congress. The Commission is tasked with conducting a comprehensive study of federal, state, local, and tribal programs that serve Native children with the goal of developing a system that delivers wraparound service for Native youth. The Commission was put in place, and as I mentioned, 2016, but was not able to have its first meeting until 2019. Further meetings were displayed by the COVID, and as we know, things weren't really going according to scale. But my good friend, Gloria O'Neill, serves as chairman of the commission, and I'm thankful for her leadership in this issue and her commitment to ensuring the commission has enough time to do this important work. Without this extension, the commission would be rushing to conclude the original meetings in order to meet Congress's deadline. When doing this work, it could have far-reaching effects on Native youth and Native communities. We need to ensure the commission has enough time to do good work and consider the options. I also, my colleagues have noticed recently in a lot of publications about some of my schools concerning Native students, Native youth, and especially in Canada. Will this commission also look at that process and see what has happened in the past and we can avoid what's going to occur in the future? Uh, this is a needed commission, a needed uh, bill. I urge my colleagues to support S325. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Alaska yields. Gentleman from Arkansas. Mr. Speaker, again, I urge adoption of this bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Arkansas yields. Gentleman, gentlewoman from Michigan is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I again thank the leadership of the Dean of the House, Mr. Young, on this, and Senator Murkowski for the Native children. I urge my colleagues to support this legislation, and I yield back the balance of my time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass Senate 325? Those in favor, say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two thirds being the affirmative. Mr. For what purpose does the gentleman from Arizona seek recognition? Seek the yeas and nays. Pursuant to section 3S of House Resolution 8, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to clause 8 of Rule 20, further, further proceedings on this question are postponed.